Os Mina Genki Des, and we are in front of the Genki Stars Hotel. Inside, we will have our first one star sim. I wonder who it could be. It's probably Gino, because it's always Gino. Gino's always been my first one star sim. It's never been um, DJ Candy or, or who's the other one? Sir Vincent Skullfinder, I think is his name. Yeah, there he is. What up, chef? Ciao, kid. I'm Chef Gino. If you build me a restaurant, I can bring my world-famous pizza to your town. Sure, man. Magnifico. I'll wait here until you build me an Italian restaurant. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Let's get that done. All right, so I'm actually not all that great when it comes to like these fancy buildings and stuff. I've seen people do like really cool things. I'm not that cool. <laughs> Congratulations! Genki Stars has already started growing. Chef Gino is sure to have tasks for you to improve his restaurant. The happier you make the residents of your town, the closer Genki Stars will get to the next star level. Okay. So, I believe what's going to happen is that once we get Gino's tasks done, it's going to fill like halfway up. So what I kind of want to do is I'll probably move in the other two um, that are supposed to come in. That way I don't have to worry about getting to two stars and then losing our one star sim to all the two stars that are going to start showing up at the hotel. So I think I'll I think I'll go ahead and do that. But today's focus will absolutely be on Chef Gino. You are not going to see these uh, additional sins today. All right. So just, they're just gonna have to wait their turn. All right. Hey, look at them go. <laughs> Oh, these, these guys are so cute. I freaking love it. All right, let's have a chit chat. Ciao, kid. This restaurant is wonderful. I can't wait to get cooking. Give me my task, my dude. Ah, kid, how can I make my world famous pizza without a pizza oven? <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Let's do our basic steel item stuff. I'll take the bed. Probably don't need to take the chair. I don't think I can take that. No. Oh, I like this jukebox. Haha. <laughs> All your stuff is mine now. Alright, so this is where some of the tasks that we have to do for Chef Gino, um, or actually for any of the commercial sims really, they start to get just slightly more complicated in that they start making you kind of think outside the box a little bit more. Not especially right now, but uh, I believe later the chef will request you to make a refrigerator and the refrigerator is literally two blocks. So I believe that's what uh, Chef Gino's whole point is, is to kind of guide you into thinking outside of it. But actually what I want to do There we go. What are we? How many? Okay, I need eight apples, four stone. Hold on. Okay. That looks better. Yeah, that looks a lot better. 
Well, it works for me. I think this will do. It's not that great, but it, it meets the requirements. And it kind of does what I wanted it to do. Just make it a, uh, just make it slightly more fancy. And while we're here, I want to edit these up a little bit. I think that looks cool. I think it's perfect for an Italian restaurant. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll clone so that there's four of these all together. All right, check out this funky couch. Uh, I'm. Should I leave it as it is? I think I should flip it. Hey, there we go. All right, and for the rest of these bits, let's just kind of let's just kind of fill them in. I think I want to use the darker red for the couch. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, Chef Gino's gonna love this, man. Uh, and you know what? We need to check his profile. I forgot to do that again. <laughs> Um, so let's give them the stuff that we edited so far and then check out all about Chef Gino. <laughs> Alright buddy, let's give you your stuff back first. Uh, here's your couch. Slightly more fancy than when we took it. Uh, I wasn't... how did he have these originally? <laughs> Whoops, I don't remember. I'm just gonna put it like that. Uh, here we go. I want it against the wall as far over as it'll let me go. Yeah! Fantastico! Like it was made by the finest oven smiths from the golden age of oven crafting. Chef Chino has given you a bed blueprint. It's covered in delicious marinara sauce. Wow, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's see what these other tasks are. Uh-huh. Gino's back in business. I need to have seating for all my hungry customers. Well, good thing I took all of your stuff. <laughs> and that's another thing you can do is when he asks for this, you can literally just take a table and a chair from him, edit it, come back, give it to him, and it'll count as something that you created. <laughs> it's totally cheating. Which, but we're not going to do that. We're, he is going to have an extra table and an extra chair that we're going to give him, so don't worry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, and then let's get to his profile before I forget again. Chef Gino. Oh. So he likes tasty and fun things and is not into geeky stuff. Becoming a master pizza chef isn't easy. Chef Gino has crossed the globe and spent a fortune in his search for special sauces, exotic spices, and forbidden cheese. What, what, what does forbidden cheese mean, chef? What are you hiding from us? Okay, so here at the workshop, this is what I'm going to do. Um, because I also want Chef Gino's place to look kind of... It's like, I, I don't want the tables and stuff to be too different. So we're going to go to edit an item and we're going to pick one of the random tables. Edit that one. Um, and I think it needed like four red or four green apples. So I'm going to use the green apple essence like that. And then use a red apple essence. Uh, for the legs here and that's it done and then we're gonna do the same for this red one except it's going to have uh, apple essences on the top and then green apple essences on the bottom and then we're gonna clone it like we did before all right now for the I just realized, I totally forgot, you can go to work on a task, it's already completed. I need a chair with five green apples, and we already have one like that. So we can edit the one that we have. That's not the one that I wanted to work on. 
that's that computer chair that he had in his room. But uh, I'll, uh, oh, I guess I'll add something to it. Uh, which should we use last time? The crab or the octopus? I think it's the octopus. Done. One, two, three, four. Five, that's all we really need. Nice. And then we'll clone this one. <laughs> And then we'll do the same with the, with the red chairs. All right, and the final piece is his bed. Um, and see, see how this, uh, they did it? I've been copying this idea ever since. All right, so I know he likes fun stuff too, but it's not like we have a lot of particularly fun essences right now. There we go. It's not very fancy, but it's tasty. I guess. Dude, get up. <laughs> I'll give you your bed back. There you go. Now you can sleep. And then here are all of your nice new tables. Nah, I think I'll move this back here. Keep them separated. Uh, there we go. Excelentissimo. Dinner is much better on the table rather than on the floor, yes? Gina's given you a refrigerator blueprint from the golden age of refrigerator crafting. Fantastico. Alright, hold on. I don't like this being... have to redo this whole restaurant later I swear kid I love my new home more than pizza itself you're the best one order of chef Gino's outfit with pepperoni and extra cheese is now available in your dresser oh snap we already have best friend status with chef Gino awesome so I know he needs a fridge and a sink and I think those are our last uh I'll need a kitchen for simmering my world-famous sauce and washing my world-famous hands. A sink, a stove, and a refrigerator. I already made you a stove. Now I have to make another one for you? Gosh. How many stoves do you need? Also, I'm gonna need you to get away from the door. Please move. Thank you. All right, so the thing about the sink is that it's kind of boring, one, and then it doesn't have the half round bits, half round cylinders like the, um, like the counters do. It needs eight essences. And it only gives us th like three major blocks in the blueprint. So this is where you have to start actually kind of thinking outside of the blueprint and go, hey, this blueprint is eight blocks or three blocks, but it requires eight essences. But don't worry, y'all. I am an expert. So you check that out. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. How many do I need? Five and three. Okay. But I want that top one to be green because that's how I have it with the sink. Or not the sink, with the cabinets. So I still. Oh, I know what I can do. So we get rid of that. Four, five. Actually, I'm gonna redo a little bit here. I'm gonna make that red. 
and then make this stone like that. There we go. So it kind of breaks it up a little bit. All right, I think that looks cool. I think we did it. Good job, team. All right, and then the stove is like literally going to be the same thing. Booyah! Easy breezy, man. Uh, hmm. You know what? It kind of doesn't really look right, does it? I feel like since it's a stove, the this bit actually should be further up like that. Let's put that in the back. There we go. It still works. Yeah, see, that looks better. That looks more like a proper stove. So some, not, sometimes uh, not all ideas work that well. That's okay. You, you, you compromise. Change it up just a little bit and you can succeed. My Sims taught me that. So framed. This is the fridge that Chef Gino gave us. I think. Yes, this is a little, just slightly more fancy than the original fridge design, which is literally just two blocks of nothing. All right, so there we go. And now we just need to figure out how we want to color it in. So we need three of these. We need five of the red apples. I think we'll go like that. That looks cool. And then we'll top it off with our green. Look at that. I think that looks fantastic. That was easier than I thought it would be. Let's uh, let's go chef give Chef Gino his new kitchen. <laughs> Look at that. That looks like we're like cross juggling. That's neat. All right, well, here's your junk. Uh, I know we don't really need to mess with the kitchen all that much, but I need to move this here. Look, I think this place looks great. I'm not sure what interior decorators would say. <laughs> uh, but if they don't like it, they can change it in their own game. Now that's a kitchen worthy of a master chef. You do excellent work, my friend. Ah, kid, you've been incredible. I can't ask you for anything more. Thank you. Chef Gino's given you a pizza decorative. It's the finest in all of Genki Stars. When decorating your house, check out the decorative's trunk to see his gift. Okay. I feel like I need to switch this. Because it doesn't ma- now it doesn't match. Oh. Well, I guess it didn't really match all that well to begin with. <laughs> I hate this. Look, all of these are rounded and this has a square shape. Lame. Oh, well, we did. We already are best friends with Chef Gino. We have finished all of his tasks. And look, what did I say? Look how high our one star level has gone. This is pretty fantastic. Oh look, here comes, who is this, Pat, our foodie sim friend? Oh, make some pizza. Awesome. Alright, and then, uh, eh, moving on. Tugsy, hey! Uh, so he gave us his hat. And his little chef outfit which is super cute uh his eyes are just like not brock eyes but closed very sweet <laughs> look at 
a glorious mustache. This is great. Look! Chef Gino. Oh, he's super cute. I love his little mustache. I, I, I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> I'm freaking dead. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Where are those cowboy hats? Oh, freaking check me out. Oh man, I'm going straight to Tombstone with this outfit, my dudes. <gasps> wow, I love it. Uh, but we're, I think we're gonna stick with, uh, stick with Genki for now. Um, but if you have an idea on how to use that mustache <laughs> for characters, let me know. Maybe we'll change Genki up, who knows. All right, you guys, we did it. We uh, put up our first new single star commercial sim in our town. And now we have two more to bring in. And then once they're done, they're done. There's only three one star sims. Uh, they already have plots. They're ready to go. You will see them in the next two episodes. And then after that, we are going to have a whole bunch of of not only new commercial sims that'll give us tasks and the like but new townie sims so get ready to let me know how you want me to handle those townies because half of me really wants to just do a single episode completely dedicated to revamping their house like total revamp which is you know which is half the reason why i got all of these uh extra essences so that we can just like go ham crazy on these new townie sims that are going to come in. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Remember, you are loved. You are appreciated. And I am so, so happy that you are here, uh, well, making pizzas with me. <laughs> so until next time, my dudes. Matanyang! But he came by. See, he came here for this is a pizza place, and you're freaking eating fish. How dare you! <laughs>